Uh, hey, what's the emergency? Lulu, I think she needs an emergency boyfriend transplant. Come on, Maxie, give me a break. I did not just manufacture this trip to Paris out of thin air. I lied, schemed, and sweated to get it. It was for me and my boyfriend. And out of the kindness of my heart, I gave it to you so you can pull my crazy friend down off the ceiling and get her out of town. Have you managed to do that? It doesn't look like it. Look, I'd love to go to Paris, Maxie, but Lulu's a little distracted by what's going on with the family right now to even consider it. Okay, we'll try harder. These are desperate times. Lulu has already lost it, and if Lucky implodes, that's going to send her right over the edge. Why, why would Lucky implode? For a cop, you have terrible powers of deduction. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Maxie. Why don't you enlighten me? Okay, well... Lucky went to see Luke in Florida. Luke basically ripped Lucky's heart out, put it in his hands, and sent him back home. Please, Lucky's not as fragile as everyone thinks he is. He's really upset, or else he wouldn't be talking like he's talking. Well, how's he talking? He's just running around making all this big noise about cutting ties and forgetting the past. I mean, does that sound healthy to you? It sounds like someone who's venting. Yes, someone, but not Lucky. I mean, he just lost his son, and now he's lost his father, not to mention he's a recovering addict. The sky is falling down, and Lucky is going to be the one to pull it on top of everyone. If you talk to Siobhan, she was with Lucky in Florida. How did she say he was there? I'm pretty sure Siobhan is only thinking about what's best for Siobhan. What's that supposed to mean? That means Lucky has a tendency of ending up with extremely selfish women, myself included. Siobhan sees that Lucky's headed down a bad road. Well, it's not too late for Lucky to head down the right road. Okay, what is up with this world's most positive policeman thing? I guess my faith in Lucky's character. Yes, Lucky's faith is everything to him. And that's been shattered. That's kind of what happens when your parents pull the rug out from under you. I'm sure you have some idea what that's like. Yeah, I guess I do. Look, I know your parents threw you a curveball, but they didn't exactly say nice knowing you and turn and walk away. Are we talking about you now? I mean, Lulu's told me a little bit about your mom and dad, but I... The only thing you need to know about my parents is they left me behind, like, inconvenient baggage. And yes, acting out buries that. But that's all it does. Bury it. And then you have to find something else to do to keep that pain down. In this case, I think that could be Lucky's addiction. Lucky's told me he worked very hard to get past that, and he went through a lot of great lengths to try and help Luke. Yeah, but where did Lucky's 12 steps get Luke? Lucky is discouraged, disillusioned, and angry. I'm worried he's going to think his father's right, that nothing matters anymore, and it's time to blow his life apart. He's too rational to pull his stomach. Like yes, that. Lucky is rational, and caring, and loving. And his life is still going down the toilet. I think it could get worse. I hate to say it, but I think you actually might be right. Hi. Hey. Uh, you know, I... I didn't even think this through. I, I didn't even know if you would be home. It was just kind of an impulse. If you're busy, mm -hmm. I... Come in. It's lucky. Okay. It's everything, really. Uh, starting with the night that I, I let Jake walk out the front door. Okay, what, what's happening right now? Lucky found his dad. It didn't go well. He asked Luke to come back, but Luke wasn't interested, and then he said some really horrible things. That's Luke's way. Not with Lucky. Not like this. And now Lucky's f flipping it all around, and, he, and he's blaming himself. For what? For defending Luke. For failing to take care of Jake. Oh, no, he did. He did take care of Jake. You know, when we all made that decision, nobody could have known how it would all turn out. You, out of all of us, still have that clear picture. So, I was wondering, hoping, really, that maybe you could talk to Lucky. About what? You're Jake's biological father. You could... Try and, and lessen Lucky's guilt, you know, tell him you forgive him. Yeah, but Lucky, Lucky didn't do anything wrong. But he doesn't believe that. Jason, Lucky's in a really bad place. He needs help. I, I, I've told him that. Look, I don't, I don't think that I can help Lucky. The one person who can truly help him is you. Too much has happened. Too much damage and pain. Besides, Lucky's married now. Yeah, but the two of you are still connected. 
by our son. By more than children. When it comes right down to it, there's never really been anybody else for Lucky. But you... first time there's so much more to the truth than telling him how I feel and you gotta tell him everything you know no more decisions made for somebody else's good I'm just afraid that whatever I say will be too late to do any of us any good Here. This is a uh, farewell present for my dad. Okay, let's uh, get you out of here before someone sees you, okay? Let's go. Let's go. Well, I want to see let's it. Let's go. Get in the car, Lucky. Dude, don't do this. Come no, on. You don't do this. Get in the car, Lucky. Lucky! Get in the car. I'll throw you in the trunk. I'm actually trying to save a friend, so why don't you just keep your mouth shut for a minute? Yeah, I'd like to report a house fire. 24 Royal Street. No. I don't think anyone's lived there for quite some time. Lucky! Lucky! Lucky, are you in there? Can you send someone as soon as possible, please? Detective Falconary, PCPD, thank you. You sure no one saw you? No. And no one knows you were coming here? Nope. Okay, where the hell are you going? I want to watch the fireworks, What are you okay? talking about? What are you talking about fireworks? Like, you just set a house on fire. Okay, the, the law tends to frown on arson, especially when it's committed by a cop. Give me that speech. It's an abandoned house. Who cares? You don't care about losing your badge, apparently. Something my dad would appreciate. I mean, not as much as watching the place burn. Did you hear that? 